What's up, Yup Gang? It's your boy Taxon, and welcome back to Yup DBSD Things. And today we're going over another very exciting battle, guys. It's going to be round two of our local this week. This is going to be Trunks Jita versus Yellow Go Tanks. But before we get into it, guys, I do want to say if you guys want any custom mats and or sleeves, absolutely check out Pro Mats, guys. This is the best place to go get your custom card needs. And if you guys do decide to get a mat from them, make sure you guys use the promo code Yup to save on your entire order. With that being said, guys, if you guys enjoyed this battle or my content in general, remember to hit all those buttons for me, like, comment, subscribe, hit that bell so you never miss a video. And with that being said, let's spin it around and dive in. Alrighty, you guys, and here we are with round two of our local. We have Trunks Cheetah on the right side versus Gotenks on the left. Trunks Cheetah starting it off by charging an energy and then discarding his Bulma to top seven search, finding the one drop of the Cheetah here. Imagine yep, playing out the one drop, going to find the Trunks, and then I imagine that's it for the turn there, going over to Gotenks. Drawing one tarn card here, charging an energy. Swinging with his leader. Auto here to take up to one life and then draw a card. Trunks, Vegeta going to combo out the, combo out the trunks to stay up in life while also placing a trunks into the drop area to utilize the backside of his leader's auto. Here we're seeing the discard effect from Goten the Eager going to grab a 15 cost or 15,000 power Goten or er, Trunks from the deck. Turn goes back over to Trunks Jita here, charging his second energy. Utilizing the leader awaken going down to six drawing one card absorb the Vegeta flip over Here we're going to see the leader swing To play the trunks from the drop area The trunks is always going off here to play a Vegeta from the deck That damage is dealt to go tanks there we're going to see the one energy investment for the trunks evolve Draw two and then switch to active. Turn goes back over to Gotenks here. We're going to see turn two. Charging, charging his second energy. Swinging with the leader here. And choosing to take a life and then draw a card. He is going to have to put a 15k into the attack to make it a, a, a worthy damage, but he chooses not to, going directly into the activate main discard effect of the Goten the Eager to go find a Trunks from the deck. Here it looks like we find the two costs, or the three cost Trunks that allows him to discard something to pick him up from the drop area. Here we're seeing two energy investment for the Unison. We're going to see his effect to discard two and then draw two. And then that is the first battle card or unison played, so it did get switched to rest mode by Trunks, so he was not able to attack with it. Going into turn three here for Trunks, charging his third extra card. Starting off by attacking with the leader at the leader, or at the unison more than likely here. We see no negates, so the Trunks' auto goes off to play the Bulma from the drop area. Auto on her goes off to draw a card. We're going to see just the 15k land on the double stri or on the unison. We're going to see one energy investment for the Vegeta, draw two, swinging 20k into the unison. It looks like here we're choosing to combo to get a Z energy going. The marker is dealt. We're paying 2 energy, 1 Z energy for the Gohan. This is essentially just a 15k dual attack. That's going towards the unison. It stands back up. And then I believe we leave it inactive because going against yellow, you want to not leave everything in rest mode because uh, most of yellow's removal is based off the cards being in rest mode. So leaving the Z card there in active is a little uh, relatively smart so that we can hopefully see it later in the for later turns. Anyways, we're turn three here for Gotenks. P 
pays two energy to Union Fuse here for uh, the Super Saiyan Go Tanks. I believe he's either a critical or a double strike. I'm not exactly sure. There's a base form and a Super Saiyan version of these two cost of fusions. It did get played in rest mode because of Trunks. He's going to choose to activate his effect to bottom deck it from the field and then grab the fusion targets from the drop area. I believe that was the discard of an Eager there to go ahead and find the trunks from the deck, choosing his multi-form one. Starting off by swinging, or going next into the leader swing here to take a life and then draw a card. More than likely see the Awaken during this battle step. Yep, going to 15 to untap 2. And the damage there is dealt to go er, go uh, Trunks Cheeta. And it looks like Gotenks is going to pass his turn with 3 energy up here, trying to leave as much energy up for defensive purposes as possible. He definitely has two uh, extra cards loaded, so he for sure has things like Mecha Freeze alive. Here we're going to see the charge for Trunks Vegeta's turn 4. Choosing to charge a 1 drop Vegeta. Here we're going to start the onslaught off by attacking with the dual attack Z card. It does get negated by Mecha Frieza, and then we will choose to rest the Bulma to attack with the leader. Uh, the Mecha Frieza did come in rest mode due to Trunks' auto. We'll see if we see a negate here from uh, Gotenks or not. It looks like we see no negates, so the auto on the leader goes off, plays the Trunks from the drop area. Auto on the Trunks goes off to play the Vegeta from the deck. It looks like here we're choosing to detach on the leader to make him a 25k double strike. And it looks like Gotenks is forced into a predicament to have to take that double strike going down to 2 life. And it looks like here we choose to rest our dual attack card to swing with Vegeta, getting the auto to remove the rest moded uh, Mecha Frieza. And we're going to see the t two combos out there, going to 25 to get out of the 20k Vegeta attack. Z charging one, the other goes to the drop area. Here we're going to see the discard effect of Bulma to top 7 search for a Vegeta. Here we're going to see the 3 cost Vegeta go to hand. So we'll see what turn 4 consists of for Gotenks GT here. We do know that he does have some new anniversary box support, which is a pretty good triple striker card, which has a good removal as well. So we'll see what he decides to do here. Starting off with the leader swing. choosing to use Trunks Blocker here. More than likely going to utilize that blocker skill before he Union Fuses with the the dual tag team Trunks and Goten card because that card does ignore barrier and rest something when you use it for fusion. So it looks like here we're going to see the two energy investment for a new unison. We're going to see the plus one on it to discard two, draw two. And then from there, we see Gotenks pass turn with two energy up, going into turn five for Trunks to Vegeta. Here we see the next charge, yet another extra card. Starting off by attacking with the dual attack Z card, it does get Mecha Frieza. Card does come in Rasmo due to Trunks. And then dual attack with proc, he untaps, and then we rest the Bulma that's underneath our stack of one drops to attack with the Vegeta. 
Vegeta's auto does proc in order to get rid of the 15k uh, Mecha Frieza repost. And then from there we rest the Z card in order to swing with the leader. I believe these are directed at the unison, I'm not quite sure. Anyways, auto on the leader will go off to play the one drop. Auto on that one drop will play the trunks from the drop area. Choosing to combo with that trunks and another one drop from the field in order to make this leader attack a 25k. We don't see a double strike on it, but we do see the 25k. And it looks like Gotenks is going to combo three to get out of that. One of those go to the Z energy and one goes to the drop here. We're going to see one energy. Nope, it looks like Trunks is debating on what to do with his next uh, few moves here. Choosing to pay one to evolve a Vegeta, draw two. Auto on this card is pending to untap. And both of those draws are on activation of the X of all skills, so no matter what the counter is, the draws are legal. We're going to see the activation of a Goku Steadfast. The card would play in uh, rest mode, but the auto on the Vegeta allows him to untap, but uh, that does allow a draw and a blocker play for uh, Gotenks here, which is not bad. And Trunks is under Mecha Frieza here, so we are going to have to utilize... Uh, some battle cards here in order to rest them so that we can continue to swing. And it looks like Trunks is in a predicament where he has to pass turn here with four up because he has no more non-barrier cards to rest, excluding his energy in order to attack. So it looks like he le uh, passes turn there, leaving the blocker in play, going over to turn five for Gotenks. Gilting starting off by swing. Nope, not not gonna swing with the unison yet. Starting off with the leader here. Directed towards the leader. We'll see the activation of the trunks blocker skill, uh, utilizing that blocker before the. We're gonna see the activation of final flash in order to make that attack powerful enough to make it so that Trunks does not want to combo out of that attack and keep that Trunks alive. So it looks like here we're going to see the plus one on the unison to discard two, draw two. Swinging 15k at the leader I would imagine. Choosing to combo off a one drop from field in order to go to 20 and survive that 15k unison attack there. Here we're going to see the three energy investment and uh, two of the fusion targets going to the drop area in order to draw one and play this triple strike new anniversary card fusion. A very powerful card itself. Chooses, to, it chooses something, ignoring barrier switches it to rest mode and negates its skills for the turn and then it gets to choose two cards in rest mode and KO them which is a very powerful effect. Yep, so auto there went off, he chose two rest and skill negate a Vegeta and then KO uh, both of the rested uh, Vegetas. Very, pow very, very powerful card. And then here it swings for triple strike. So we'll see what he decides to do here. We're going to see the one energy investment for release from evil. This is an extra card, so we'll proc the second auto on Gotenks to draw an extra card. But it will skill negate the attacking card and make him basically just a big body single strike. And that attack will go through. Trunks taking that going down to four. It looks like here we are going to see the attack of a blocker. This is a little 5k blocker. We'll see more than likely some combos here in order to get this attack into a 
threatening position. Ooh, it looks like we see the super combo. We do have enough things rested. And then right after, it's super combo versus super combo. Both super combos play, and then both super combos will rest each other. Uh, we had a little confusion there, but the piccolo does get rested. So a little super combo versus super combo action there. That does not only stop his piccolo attack, but uh, puts our piccolo in field as well. Very, very powerful effect there. Very cool interaction. So we see the next charge for turn 6 for Trunks Gita here. Starting off by swinging with Piccolo. We're going to see the Mecha Frieza for 1. 3 energy for Cooler Counter Counter. And then we're going to see the 1 energy. I apologize. The 3 energy investment for uh, Cooler Counter Counter. Getting the autos there. Auto on uh, Piccolo Gohan draws a card, and then of course Cooler draws a card and can draw another one if there's more cards in rest mode. We're going to see one energy investment for Champa Double Strike, a super combo bottom decking one to draw two. So, so far we're at 50, 60 Double Strike. We're going to see yet another super combo going to 70 Double Strike. The only thing here I believe we would have to be worried about is something like uh, Pound of Flash, but we see that the opponent here is tapped out. So we do see the the attack here is at 50, 60, 70 double strike. We're going to see Gotenks do what he can do to get out of this, and it looks like that is it. Trunks Cheetah takes this battle, guys. If you guys enjoyed this battle, remember to hit all those buttons for me, like, comment, subscribe.